welcome back to my channel. My name is Jen, and I post on, um, no, not, not Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I post whenever I feel like it. <laughs> I'm super inconsistent, and I am so sorry for that. I am so sorry for my inconsistency. Um, but anyways, today I thought we would talk about this John Renault wig I just got. It is Laura. I believe this is a professional collection, and if I am not wrong, I believe you can only get this from a brick and mortar wig shop. I don't believe you can like order this from an online, like, is that right or not? Gosh, I hope so. Anyway, um, Laura, John Renault. I know you can get this from the Beauty Nook. Um, I will link it down below. And this is the color 22F16 S8, which is uh, Venice Blonde. Um, it's dark. I actually thought Venice Blonde was more ashy and lighter. Because I swear I had a Venice Blonde that was not this dark. Like, did they change this color? Did they? I don't even know. Like, um, the roots are a real nice, almost kind of warm color. That's why I thought, I thought for sure Venice was more, um, like a Palm Springs, but darker, kind of ashy. But, because I swear I had... Zara in Palm Springs and it was nowhere near this dark so I don't know if they've changed this color I don't know if I'm just crazy I don't know so anyways guys stick around I'm gonna take this off and we'll go over some of the deets hey there welcome back to my channel we are talking about Zara not Zara I talked about Zara last time this is Laura all these girl names so here's Laura and this is the color 22F 16S8 Venice Blonde um it's actually looking lighter. <laughs> Honestly, this is shade is darker than I thought it was going to be. Um, so, as you can see, I believe that the lighter parts of this is probably the 22, these these highlights. Um, it's a, to, see, this is a warm blonde to me. This is a warmer blonde to me, and honestly, I thought Venice was ashier. So, I don't, I, I'm serious, like, I feel like they changed this color. Um, Laura is a mono top, so you can part her anywhere that you would like. She is a mono top. Um, that's a good representation of the color. She kind of reminds me of Zara a, a little bit, except not as maybe shorter and not not as um, permatizy, if if that's a word. It's, she doesn't seem as permatized. So, that is the color. Very pretty, blonde, like neutral blonde, leaning kind of warm to me. 22 to me is a warm color. Um, 16 to me is a warm color. Root is an 8. Um, there you can see through the mono top. Um, so that's a nice feature. Uh, okay, well let's throw her on real quick. And, oh, did I say, if I didn't say it, these are elastic... Um, Velcro adjusters and felt lined ear tabs, which is nice. So let's put her on. The cap feels bigger on this than it does on Zara too. Because I just did a Zara video and like I feel like this cap, I'll tell you what, John Renault's caps probably fit me the best out of any wig company. I feel like they, they really fit me very, very well. Um, Beltress tends to run a little bit big on me. My head is 21.75 in circumference. Um, so I'm, I'm almost a 22 inch head. This feels very comfortable on me though. It feels like it literally just fits perfectly. I love John Renault's caps. Their laces do tend to be a little bit itchy on me though. Um, if, if... That makes sense. Usually if I wash it once or condition it or spray some conditioning spray, it kind of loosens the, um, not loosens it up, but it will soften the lace up a little bit. So try that if you have any type of conditioning spray or um, anything like that. Um, so so it is very much like Zara, but it's, it's not as heavy. Not as heavy as Zara. Very... Um, it doesn't feel as heavy on my head as that wig. I think this is probably a less density, more, you know, like there's less density to this wig. The, um, the lace front is really good on this one. Very nice lace front. 
better than Zara. Like you can really see some scalp in there. You know, even if I rub my fingers through it to kind of break it up a little bit, it really doesn't need me to do that. Um, it actually kind of came with this contour, which is really nice. Um, got a little few flyaways, but that's kind of like normal straight from the box. Uh, I don't know how long this is. I will put the details right here on the length and the nape and all of the things, like how much it usually costs and all of that. So yeah, much less density than Zara. So here she is. I'm so sorry my chair squeaks. I'm gonna have to like throw some WD-40 on that thing. So here she is from my right and hopefully I can show you all. The, the, it, it is long, it's a long piece. Long piece for sure. I would definitely have to kind of do something with this to keep it out of my face. It kind of keeps falling in my face. And there's the left, the left side. See how this keeps happening right here? She needs a little bit of training. If you want to know how to train your wig to stay out of your face, I did post a video about that a couple of weeks or, you know, a couple of videos ago. So check that out. Um, sorry I'm looking up here. I don't know why I look up here when I know my camera lens is down there. Does anybody else do that? I probably should just look in my mirror because it's actually down here, which is actually right here. I don't know. Guys, I am like so ADHD when I get on here. I have like a million thoughts and a million things <laughs> go through my head. I do like this wig. It is definitely not as dense as Zara. So if you like Zara and you like the length and everything, this would be a great choice for you. Although I'm pretty sure only brick and mortar stores can carry this wig. If I'm, I'm pretty sure about that. Um, doesn't mean they can't sell it online. It just means that um, it ha they have to have a brick and mortar storefront as well as, you know, if they're an online retailer or whatever, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's a different... <laughs> you know, guys, I literally don't know. I'm pretty sure you can get this at the Beauty Nook. I will leave the link to this wig down below.